Okay, this is going to be my first unboxing. It's going to be a um, Bluetooth beacon. I'm going to open it up here. Inside of the box, we go. Not really that much here. Just that. Big, huge box. All this stuff. So, let me open this up. Made in China. Bluetooth beacon. So, bought it off Amazon. And we got these three things and this. So, we got the beacon. Lotion. I just want to say lotion. It's kind of funny. Lotin, Lotin, got a little sticky pad, some screws, and the user's guide. So, we'll get right into this first unboxing. Kind of excited. Alright. Hey, look at this user's guide. We got a whole bunch of stuff on here. What's in the box, product overview. Got this guy. Yeah, it's probably a CR2032 battery. Um, iOS App Store. Ooh, Beacon Flyer. Nice. Okay. Let's give that a shot. There's some other apps that um, I'll show you in a minute that I've used. Now we need to open this guy up. Looks like you need to take the circuit board up. Now, see that MAC address? You might want to write that down, 91C1. I'm guessing that's going to be pretty important pretty soon to identify Bluetooth beacons. Um... I've noticed um, I have a, a lot of a lot of technology in my house. I'm a technology enthusiast. I'm a programmer, so I've got tons of Bluetooth uh, devices everywhere in my house. So I'm going to see a ton of them on the list. So let's see what we can do. Let's take this part out. Um, I did actually already pull the tab. I had to redo the video because um, it was sideways. So I took the uh, tab off. It's ar should be already active. I'm going to put it back together. Um, there's a few other things I was going to show you here. Um, uh, you'll see that little, I don't know if you see that there. There's a little tiny, tiny part of that circuit board. It's got to go in that little groove. Basically, it forces you into one way of putting this in. So be careful with that. You can see a little attached indention on the circuit board. We're good. Should be active. Things put together. Got all this guy going. Looks good. All right, let's see if we can find some apps. They did recommend an app here. Mm, Beacon Flyer. There's a few other ones I'll try and note. I'll put in the in the comments. Um, maybe I'll try and do some kind of reviews on those. It's, there's a lot of apps out there that are just dev centric. There's some apps that are you know user centric. Not sure. Um, I'm a developer, so I've been in IT for 20 plus years. Um, I'm looking for the dev centric ones, so let's give this one a try. Before you start scanning things, <laughs> I learned this the hard way. Before you start scanning things, um, try and turn off some Bluetooth devices close to you. It'll make the most sense. Um, um, sometimes finding the right UUID is a little difficult. Download a beacon flyer. Let's see if I can kind of show you the screen without it being all um, and hard to see. Let's see if I can get it to see. So, I'm trying to figure this out. I got a MAC address of 91C1, I believe. It's not really the same thing as a UUID, so I may have trouble with their app. I want to say it's not the greatest app to be. Trying to figure out what the UUID is for this guy. I'm still new to this, but I'm trying to figure it out. 91C1. No. This is not going to work very well. Looks like this app has got some kind of thing. Um, some RFID tags you can actually connect to. Other ones you can't. Um... I think generally speaking, most of them you don't connect to them. You just literally just need them to be broadcasting. So um, let's try a different app. So far, this is probably the best app out there that I've seen, um, mainly because it give you t gives you tones. 
you'll see it in a minute. The closer you get to the RFID tag, it'll actually give you tones. So it's a huge benefit. I haven't looked at any of the other uh, pay for ones, but I'm going to give this a shot. Now let's try it. Let's scan. Okay. My guess is it's probably one of these that the lower the number, the better. Let's turn this down a little bit so we don't kill you guys. Okay, you see a whole bunch of them? Tons of them. This is probably the best app out there, honestly. So if I pull this away. See it. Um, oh, let's try this one. Biggest problem is I've got two Bluetooth um, keyboard. Uh, I'm a big Mac fan. I've got a keyboard here and a trackpad and a laptop. So I've got a whole bunch of Bluetooth going on here. Sometimes you should be able to hear this. I might have to figure this out without the video and then find out exactly which one it is. Usually the lower the number, the RSS, RSSI number, the better. Um, each Bluetooth device has different ranges. Um, it's just a general indicator, RSI, RSSI is. so. Let me see if I can figure this out without the video. If you want to uh, clear all the tags back out, you want to rerun a scan. Just swipe this guy down. Good. And then hit rescan. It'll start coming back again. Tell you something, I'm, I'm about halfway away from the beacon. Again, I kind of got to walk around to actually detect and see what um, the range is. So it's like when I'm right next to it, it's on like 41. TBs, um, and now I'm about, I'm in another room, so it's already 66, so let's go a little bit further. Okay, so now I'm, I'm probably about 30 feet away from that, um, tag, so, and I'm in like the third room away, so I'm already at minus 90, so that's almost like really on the edge. I think some of the RFID tag manufacturers actually go up to about 100 um, and they max out, but I, I, I don't think there's an exact match on RSSI. Um, look that up, research it. One other thing is, you see how this app is actually not doing the greatest? I think you gotta start and stop this app, so sometimes hit stop, hit scan. Trying to get it reworking, so I think there's one of the problems with some of these apps is that um, they're emitting a lot of data, and so if it's not coded right, um, you'll see slowdown in some of these apps. Sometimes restarting the apps will help. Sometimes hitting stop and start scan will help, um, because if you have a huge amount of Bluetooth devices in your in your home, you're trying to test, um, or in your workplace, um, there's a lot of uh, transmission going on, so. Make sure I, think I have the right UID. Um, so you watch if I take it away, um, the sound will go down. So, yeah, I'll go closer. So I think this is the right UUID. So I'm kind of new to this. Um, if anybody has any ideas on how to make this easier, trying to identify the UUID, please, you know, like and comment on a YouTube video. Um, just is connectable? No. In some cases, um, if you have RFID tags that are is connectable, yes. I want to say a lot of those are are your Bluetooth headsets, anything that actually needs to be connected. In this case, this is just one of these small little guys that you want to make um, as a identifiable object. So I'm really looking for the is connectable no feature. Okay, so this um, this app is called RX Bluetooth Kit. Um, it's, it's a dev-centric kit that um, for iOS developers. 
Um, I'm trying it out, trying to see how it works. Um, it's one thing about this. Um, the, well, it's kind of hard to explain. So, I actually found the UUID from the Beacon Flyer app. I'm just trying this other API out. I guess there's more to come. It's an open source. Um, also, check out my YouTube channel. At some point, I'll probably be having some more videos more related to off-gridding. Um, getting ready to build a home, but it's taking a little bit more time than I was expecting. So, um, but already got the house plans done and um, just still moving along with that. So this is one of those things that's probably going to be used in my off-grid home. All right. Thanks.